Who's this? This is Sid. <laughs> Sid, do you... Uh, so we're in Girona right now and... Uh, Two weeks after Kona? Yeah. Two weeks? I don't know. Some, 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 Summer. Some, some days. Still jet lag? Um, I don't think jet lag. I, I didn't sleep for like the week after Kona and that was without leaving the island and that wasn't because I was out drinking either. That's just from the race and so yeah and then had a pretty hectic travel back to the UK and then back here. So I actually don't know what day it is, <laughs> what time zone I'm in at the moment. So but, yeah. reco recovered? Yes. Uh, so well, I mean sort yeah, of. I mean I've not really done huge amounts so I'm pretty much end of season for me so we kind of I'm just doing stuff to keep moving really and um, maintain a little bit of fitness and sanity um, but yeah I mean I feel feel pretty good I've got a few easy swims and runs so nothing huge the bike hasn't been unpacked yet <laughs> you're kidding but that's because I was <laughs> traveling and I couldn't face unpacking it and packing it between flights and stuff so I saw online uh, I think uh, on Instagram this this is your first time here well yeah, there was, there, this was on your bucket list yes uh, but uh, you never you could ne never make it no so I spend a lot of time here in Girona. I have yeah. I have an apartment here and um, this time last year when it was the first event I was actually in Boulder and I had massive FOMO because I think everyone that I knew had flown to Girona and uh, there's a, the event was on and, and I wasn't here so it, it was first on the list the race list <laughs> for this year. <laughs> That's till. That's <laughs> till. Um, I'll, I'll do till later. And uh, so yeah, it was kind of a race I've been looking forward to all year, and after, just the whole weekend, and just being in like the backyard of where we live. Um, so yeah, super excited to be here. So how often do you spend time here in Jewel? Uh, actually, I mean, you have an apartment here. Yeah. We, talk, we talked about it. Like, uh, can I stay yeah, in your apartment? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's booked. Yeah. It's booked. It's booked. So um, pre pre pandemic, I was spending summer here. So I do summer here and then summer in New Zealand. So both both hemispheres. Yeah. Then obviously the pandemic hit, so I've not been back to New Zealand. Two, and, two, um, two flat whites? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, waiting I'm waiting for my flat whites. Um, post pandemic, I came back here, or I managed to get back here. I couldn't get back to New Zealand, so Jerome has been a bit more of a base. So he's in sort of. August 2020, been a bit more based here, and like I said, I've now, now got an apartment here. It's not a bad place. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's but I have place. to say, I do spend as well um, a lot of time in Boulder, Colorado now. So my coach, Julie Dimmons, is based there, and she has a squad. So um, I miss the squad, and I miss not being with Julie when I'm when I'm here. But I love this. I mean, a lot yeah. of triathletes here too. So uh, yeah. yeah. So um, you came in tenth in Kona. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Awesome result. Yeah. Mega. Yeah. Pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> How happy? Like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still kind of sinking in. I think um, I would never have thought uh, maybe a few years ago, but then this year with the the depth of the women's field and the number of the start list, and um, yeah, I just didn't think you know the top ten was dream kind of thing. Um, and yeah, if the things fell into place the right way, it was a possibility. Um, but to actually execute it and finish with that top 10. And I think also having come seventh in St. George in May. So that was a re so a re like, already a really good uh, result. Yeah, like, like and that. probably that, you know, that course probably suits me a bit better than Kona, Kona does. But, um, you know... Weather-wise also? Uh, or, or more like... Yeah, the... yeah, probably like the terrain and the weather there is probably better to me. So that's why I always come into Kona. It's, and we just, you know, you, know, you never know what happens in, in Kona. That's so, true. Yeah, the top 10 in Kona after the top 10 in St. George, I like, yeah, that just tops it off. Like it's been, a, there's been some down, some low patches in the year, but those two definitely make it, make it high. Cool. Thanks. And uh, we'll, we'll send it. Thank you.